Hello and welcome. In this episode, we are going to replace the thermostat in a 2006 4300 International truck. Now, in this video, I'm going to point out the tools that you need to use, just basic tools that you have around the house, and what how you need to break those bolts loose to help your job to actually go easy and smooth. Because that's what this channel is all about, helping you to save time and money. So let's begin. You want to have a chuck block in front of the tire on the rear wheel and behind the tire. I decided to remove the ignition key or you can disconnect the battery post to kill power from your batteries. I'm going to use a clean drain pan. Now if it's time for you to service your antifreeze according to the owner's manual, now's the time to do so. But our antifreeze is in pretty good condition. So we're going to use a clean drain pan to preserve our antifreeze. You want to go underneath the vehicle. Over to your right side of your radiator, you have a drain plug. We're going to use a pair of pliers. We're going to speed that up a little bit. While the antifreeze is draining, I would like to just briefly go over the tools that we'll be using in the video. I want to use a 10 millimeter six point. That's very important. 3-8 ratchet. Probably going to use a breaker bar because the bolt pretty much is going to be, if it's never been taken off before, it's definitely going to be tight. I'm going to use a extension. I'm going to use a 3-8 socket quarter, a ratchet quarter, 10 millimeter, and that is very important. Six point. Do not use a 12 point. You do not want to use that. Make sure both of your sockets here are six point. And I'm going to use a scraper here. We just turn it off. Use the pliers to tighten it back. Don't take much. We need a 13 millimeter to remove these two nuts that is actually supporting the exhaust here. And the bracket actually bolts down to the thermostat. Just remove this U-bolt. We had the U-bolt removed. Now we need to come over here and we have two nuts to remove over here as well. We need a 13 millimeter. This is the reason why we need a quarter inch ratchet with a quarter inch 10 millimeter because it's gonna be pretty tight to try to get a ratchet in here. And as you can see, I'm trying to double wrench. No ratchet may be longer. If it is, that would definitely help. But as for me, I'm going to double wrench. And it is really tight. So I'm able to use a 3.8 ratchet or a breaker bar for the other boat, which would definitely help. But I'm still going to have to put on a pipe, make it extension to actually break it loose because again it's never been broken before and it's going to be pretty tight it may help to actually tap the bracket side to side just tap it lightly and i'm going to take a punch and just tap the head of the boat just tap it with a punch Give it a few taps. It wouldn't hurt. We give it another try. There we go. Now we got it. So this bolt is going to be really critical. Get and you definitely want to make sure you use a six point socket. You do not want to damage the head of this bolt. Now that we have the bracket out of the way, you're still not gonna be able to remove this. You're so close, but the fan is not gonna allow you to actually move the pipe over because there's not enough room. So what we're gonna to have to do, you need a 3-8, and we're gonna remove this clamp here. After you have loosened the clamp, take a small screwdriver, and we're just gonna break the seal on the hose to the pipe. Separate the pipe from the hose. 
Man, we can actually remove the pipe out of the way. Here's our thermostat. I'm gonna pull it straight up. Guys, I'm gonna put a rag in here and I'm gonna take our air nozzle and just blow this dirt away. We're gonna make sure we wear safety glasses. I'm just gonna make sure our edge is clean for our seal. We don't want any reason to have a leak. Here's our new thermostat, parts number, price range. And it came from our local international dealer. Let's drop it right in place. Fits like a glove. Now's a good time to actually clean the pipe. We'll take some emery cloth and clean the section that goes onto the hose. You don't want your radiator hose to have any reason to leak. We have everything cleaned up. Now we're gonna reinstall. Place back our nuts. Once I bolt down the thermostat, I go ahead and come back and tighten down these nuts. Now I had a tough time removing, especially this bolt here. So I'm just gonna put a little anti-seize on it. It won't hurt it. I'm sure the, the guy that comes behind me one day would definitely appreciate this. Put our bracket in place. Screw down our bolt. Screw down the other bolt. Put on the clamp. Tighten down the nuts. Tighten down the radiator hose. We want to refill our reservoir and make sure you fill it up to the max line. What we're going to do now, we're going to start the vehicle. I'm going to leave the radiator cap off and I'm allow air, any kind of air that may be in the system until the thermostat actually open up and just let it circulate and let the air actually come out of the reservoir while it's running, while we're checking for leaks. Checking for leaks. Everything looks good here. Checking for leaks around the thermostat. Everything looks good. If there's an air in the system, it should be out of it by now. We want to put the radiator cap back on and we should be good to go. That's all you have to do to change a thermostat in a 2006 4300 International Truck. Just follow this video step by step and you cannot go wrong. I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe, take care, and God bless.